Amazon FBA is not worth starting in 2023 if you're trying to do old school private label or wholesale techniques. And that's because Amazon is oversaturated, China, the recession, and two more reasons I'll talk about later in this video. And Amazon stock has plummeted down 50% from its all time high. On top of that, Amazon has over 9 million sellers with 4,000 new sellers joining every day, meaning that selling on Amazon is getting really saturated. But keep in mind, back in 2010, Amazon did $34 billion worth of sales on their website. And that number has grown every single year, with last year there being over $500 billion of sales on amazon.com. Plus, e-commerce is growing like crazy every single year, and since 50% of all sales that happen online happen on Amazon, and 66% of all sales that happen on Amazon's website are from third-party sellers. That's people like you and me selling our products on Amazon, which means as e-commerce continues to grow and Amazon's sales continue to grow, the amount of money you and I can make selling our products on Amazon will also continue to grow. And as of last year, over 40% of all Amazon sellers have made at least a hundred thousand dollars selling on Amazon. And the thing to know is that as long as people are buying products from Amazon, there will be an opportunity to make money by selling products on Amazon. And Amazon has over 300 million prime customers in the world with over 150 million prime customers in the United States alone. And that number is projected to continue to grow. And when you realize that 66% of all consumers start their search for products that they want to buy on Amazon, it's clear that you can still make money by selling products on Amazon. But warning, selling on Amazon has changed. For instance, I found this product being sold on walmart.com for $176. And this exact same product is being sold on amazon.com for $34.99. So what you can do is you can buy it from walmart.com, flip it on Amazon for the increased price and keep all the profit after you subtract out all the Amazon FBA fees. This is called retail arbitrage and this still works as a way for you to make money selling products on Amazon. But the problem with this model is you constantly need to be going to sites like walmart.com to try to find deals, to try to buy new products so that you can flip it on Amazon. So instead, if you wanna find one product that you can sell, you can go to sites like tundra.com where you can buy products at a discount of 50% or more. For instance, I found this product that's being sold for as cheap as $85 and this same product is being sold on Amazon for $220. Again, you can buy this product from tundra.com, flip it on Amazon for the increased price, and you can buy this product again and again. This is called wholesale, but the problem with this model is oftentimes you're competing against a ton of other sellers that are selling the exact same product, and sometimes you're even competing with the manufacturer of the product themselves. So one way to eliminate the competition and make it so no one else can sell your product is by creating your own product with your own listing. And this product right here is doing over $50,000 in sales per month. And you can find out how much any product on Amazon is making by scrolling down to the best seller rank. And that's this number right here. You then copy that number and you can paste it into the free Jungle Scout sales estimator, select the marketplace in the category, and it'll tell you how many units per month that product is selling. And this product is selling almost 4,000 units per month, and when you multiply that by the cost of the product, which is $15, that's over $50,000 per month this product is making. And what's crazy about that is if you go to alibaba.com and you search for headlights for shoes, you can see that this exact same product is being sold on alibaba.com for as little as $1.29 when it's being sold on Amazon for $15. This is called private label, and 59% of Amazon sellers are selling on Amazon using this business model. And this way of selling on Amazon used to work really well. You could literally just go to Alibaba, pick any product, slap your brand on it, and sell it on Amazon. The problem now is because there's so much competition, if you just create a boring private label product, you're gonna have a ton of other
other people. They're gonna create their own private label listing of that product and you guys are all gonna be competing on Amazon selling pretty much the same product. But there is a solution, a fourth way of selling on Amazon that has all the benefits of private label, but this way of selling on Amazon makes it so it's impossible for your competitors to copy you. And for anyone that's new to the channel, my name is Travis and I've used the method I'm about to show you in this video to launch multiple seven figure brands. And make sure to hit the like button because I've been a full time e-commerce entrepreneur for over 10 years and what I'm about to show you in this video is the best way I've ever seen to make passive income online. And Brent used this method to sell this product and he made over a million dollars selling this product on Amazon last year. And 85% of Amazon sellers are doing either wholesale or private label. And these ways of selling on Amazon used to work really well three, four, five years ago, but now they're overly competitive and overly saturated. But I do wanna be clear, using wholesale or private label, sometimes you can get lucky and find a product that no one else has found yet, and you can still make money with these methods. But with these methods, it's just a matter of time till other people start selling the exact same product as you with wholesale or a very, very similar product as you're selling if you're doing private label. So Amazon FBA is only worth starting in 2023 if you're planning on doing retail arbitrage or this new way of selling on Amazon that I'll explain to you right now. And to understand this new way of selling on Amazon, you need to understand how Amazon FBA works. And with Amazon FBA, you buy the products that you wanna sell on Amazon's website. You then send those products into an Amazon warehouse. Amazon holds those products in the warehouse and it makes it so the products that you're selling on Amazon now become Prime eligible. Meaning that when people are searching on Amazon for your product, they'll see the Prime badge and I know they can receive this product within two days of buying it, meaning that Prime customers are much more likely to buy your product. And when they do, Amazon will ship that product from its warehouse to the Amazon Prime customer. And that's why Amazon FBA stands for Fulfilled by Amazon because they're handling the hard part of fulfilling the product to your customer. And the problem with retail arbitrage is that it's not passive. You constantly need to hunt for new products to sell, package them up and send them into the Amazon warehouse. But my question for you is what if you could find one product to sell and you could sell it on your own listing, meaning no one else could sell that product and you could make it so you don't have any competitors. If you could do that, you could make it so the only work that you have to do is to send an email to your manufacturer to ship more units into Amazon's warehouse. Because at that point, people are already going to Amazon to buy your product because Amazon has 300 million prime customers. And on top of that, Amazon's handling the fulfillment for you, which means that you have a machine that's going to be printing you money. And the way to do that is by creating what I call a passion product. This is where you create your own unique product that is better than the competition. And you can either create a product from scratch like AJ did with cocktail cards, or you can take an existing product and improve it in some way that your competitors just haven't yet. You can then make it even less likely that you'll get competitors by creating a strong brand around your product. And I wanna be 100% honest and 100% transparent with you. It does take hard work to start up your business, to create the product, to create the brand. But once you have the brand in the product, keeping your business going is easy because you've then created a machine that'll allow you to make passive income. And I'll explain how this method works works throughout this video. But still, there are five reasons why a lot of people will tell you that it's too late to start an Amazon business. And the first reason is because Amazon is too saturated. And it's true, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Amazon has over 9 million sellers with 4,000 new sellers joining every single day. But of those 9 million sellers, there's only about 2 million active sellers. And of those active sellers, there's only 1 million active sellers in the United States. And over 40% of all sellers have made over $100,000. And you can use tools like Helium 10 to find products that no one else is selling that Amazon customers actually want to buy. Because what a lot of people don't realize is that Amazon is just a search engine. 
people go to Amazon to search for things they want to buy. And this tool, Helium 10, will tell you exactly what people are searching for in Amazon. So what you'll do is you'll look for things that people are searching for in Amazon that when you search it in Amazon, there are no products that come up in the search results. AJ did this with cocktail cards and he was able to do over $500,000 in sales in just his first year. I then repeated this process with a product called Rocket Tea that I just launched a few months ago and in its first month, it did over $7,000 in sales. But the second reason people say it's too late to sell on Amazon is because of China. And it's true that Chinese sellers will copy a lot of American sellers' products and sell the exact same product for less money. And oftentimes, these Chinese sellers will use dirty tactics to get American sellers blacklisted or banned from selling on Amazon. But the thing that no one will tell you is that Chinese sellers are only really targeting boring private label products that don't have a strong brand. And Chinese companies are not as good as you are at creating a strong brand or a strong social media presence. And this is one of the biggest ways that Amazon has changed. It's no longer about just selling a boring product on Amazon and making a bunch of money. Nowadays, you have to create a real brand with a real social media presence for your product. And if you do this, you'll be on a different level from your competitors because they can't copy your brand or your social media presence. In addition to that, a lot of my students have gone out and gotten patents for their product. This gives you an extra level of legal protection for your product, you own the product, and no one else can sell it. Again, if you're doing a wholesale or private label, that's just not the case. You don't own the product if it's someone else's design. But still, I hear all the time from people that we're going into a recession and that no one's gonna be buying things on Amazon anymore because they're not gonna have any money to spend. And it's true, the stock market is crashing, Cryptocurrency like Bitcoin is crashing. And according to many experts, the recession has already started. So this begs the question, is it worth it for you to start an Amazon business? And as I mentioned, Amazon stock has dropped to the lowest it's been in three years. Plus with inflation, shipping costs have gone up by over 23% and the costs of the products that you're gonna buy have also gone up. And this all sounds like terrible news for Amazon sellers and probably makes a lot of people think that now is the worst time to start an Amazon business. But keep in mind that over 50% of all the Fortune 500 companies, these are the most successful companies in the world, were started during a recession. And remember, the stock market doesn't have anything to do with how Amazon is actually performing. Even though Amazon stock is down, the amount of money that's being spent on Amazon's website has actually gone up, which is all that matters to you as a seller. And part of the reason why this is, is because when there's inflation, people expect to spend more money on goods that they're buying. And that's one of the benefits of being a business owner. Yes, your shipping costs will go up and the cost of your goods will go up, but you can raise your prices to absorb some of those higher costs. And this is why you always wanna be a business owner and you don't wanna be working for a salary because your employer is not gonna increase your salary to compensate for inflation. But if you own a business and you sell goods, you can increase your price to compensate for that inflation. And even during a recession, there's some types of products that thrive, like anything in the baby category, the pet category, or any of these other categories. And that's because people will always spend money on the things and people they love. And the fourth reason why people say it's too late to start an Amazon FBA business in 2023 is because of all the costs. You have the startup cost of just starting your Amazon business. And on top of that, you have all the different Amazon FBA fees, including the selling fee and the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. And it's true. If you want to start an Amazon FBA business, it's going to cost a little bit of money. But oftentimes, it's less money than you might think, especially if you use the secret I'm gonna share with you in just a second. In fact, almost 50% of people were able to start their Amazon FBA business for $2,500 or less. And I've had students like Mina, who started his Amazon business with $1,500 and scaled it up to where he's doing over $100,000 in sales per month. But if you are selling a unique, passion product, you can always do a Kickstarter or an Indiegogo to raise the money you need to start your business. And this is how AJ was able to start his Amazon FBA business cocktail cards for $0 out of his own pocket. He was able to raise over $100,000 
on Indiegogo because he had a unique idea that people were interested in. But yes, even after your startup costs, you do have to keep in mind that you're gonna have to pay a fee just to sell on the Amazon platform. And that is a 15% fee, but you can actually get this fee down to as low as 5% if you use the brand referral program. There's also the Amazon FBA pick and pack fee. And this is the fee you have to pay to Amazon every time they pick, pack, and ship your product out and send it to a customer. And a lot of people complain about this fee, but keep in mind, since you're paying Amazon to do this, that means that you don't have to wrap up and package up your product. And it also means that you don't have to go to the post office to ship your product, which means that you have a lot more free time to either grow your business so you can make millions of dollars or you can spend your time doing whatever is fun for you. But still, the fifth reason why a lot of people say it's too late to sell on Amazon and one of the biggest complaints I hear over and over again is it used to be easier to make money with Amazon and it's true. Five, six, seven years ago, it was so easy to make money with Amazon and it has gotten more competitive. But 66% of all Amazon sellers say they wish they would have started earlier. And it's true that over 50% of people that are selling on Amazon are making less than $100,000 a year. But there's three reasons why 99% of the people that fail with Amazon are failing. And if you can avoid these three reasons, you can almost guarantee success. And one of the biggest ones is analysis paralysis. So many people find out about this opportunity to sell on Amazon and they don't do anything about it. They don't take that first step. Most people are scared to make mistakes, but all successful entrepreneurs make mistakes and they learn from their mistakes. And the crazy thing about selling on Amazon is it can be so profitable that it doesn't matter if you make some mistakes. For instance, Brent with his product Searpro, he's making over $20,000 profit per month. And when he first had the idea for creating this product, he waited over a year because he was so terrified of making a mistake. But if he would have tried to start his Amazon business earlier, and even if he made a mistake that cost him $20,000, if it meant that he was able to launch his product six months earlier, that would have meant that he would have made an extra $100,000 in profit. So every single month that you're waiting to start your Amazon business, you are losing money. The second reason people fail with Amazon is they're doing the wrong method. They still think they can make money with wholesale or private label, but those methods don't work anymore. They're outdated. And maybe you can have a little bit of a luck and maybe that's a good way for you to dip your toe in the water and try out selling on Amazon. But if you wanna create a long lasting, sustainable, passive income business on Amazon, you need to create your own unique passion product, something that is better than the competition. But the third and one of the biggest reasons why I see so many people fail with Amazon is they don't follow a formula. They go to YouTube, they watch these videos, which is amazing, but they watch a little bit of this guy and a little bit of this guy. They're not following a step-by-step -step formula. And I have for you a free five-hour step-by-step course I'm gonna give to you in just a second, but I want you to be aware that people that don't pay for things usually don't pay attention. And yes, I have this free five hour course, but if you want even more in-depth help, I'm gonna be opening up 50 spots for my Amazon FBA program called the Passion Product Formula, where I show you step-by-step -step exactly how to create your own unique passion product. It comes with weekly Q&A calls with me and other Amazon FBA expert coaches, access to a private community and a bunch of other things, and it's extremely affordable. I'll put a link down below right here in the description if you wanna get on the wait list for that program. Again, I'm opening up 50 spots for this program starting next week. Or if you just wanna start with the free five hour step-by-step -step course that I have, you can click on this video over here. But I hope to see you in the Passion Product Formula program. Click here to get on the wait list. And thank you so much for watching this video.